I know a lot of us have struggled these past years, me included. It's easy for us to see that this world is not our home, and we're waiting for Jesus to take us to the place he's prepared for us. We will finally be home where we belong. For years it's been coming soon, and even now it is still coming soon. It's a hope that's kept me going these past five years. If you had told me five years ago that we would still be here today, I probably would have been discouraged and wondered how it could be possible to continue. But by God's provision, we have continued. It is struggles like these that give rise to spiritual growth and an increase of faith. As much as we want it to be over, it is also an important time. It will surely come to an end, though. Our present circumstances are only temporary. This world is not our home. God didn't spare his own son, and he hasn't spared us from being here in this world either. We recognize who we are, and we recognize the source of evil that's come against us is not God doing bad things to us, but rather an adversary. An adversary that God has allowed for a time that will be put down. It is a spiritual battle, and God is fighting for us and with us. Jesus has not forgotten us, and even now he is with us, of course, and soon this present time will come to an end. Jesus will wipe the tears from our eyes. Our experiences and memories of this life are important, I believe. You can read something in a book, but learning something through personal experience firsthand is valuable, isn't it? Jesus saves our souls, and our memories and things we've learned are part of our soul, I believe. Today, some of these experiences and memories are painful, But I believe Jesus will heal our minds and heal our souls. I believe it will be a catharsis, this changing. I believe our memories and experiences will be intact, but we will be healed. Perhaps you have experienced this even today, in part, as Jesus has done a healing work in your mind, how much more so in eternity. It is my prayer every day that Jesus will be made manifest in us, that he will change us and catch us up. And even now, as long as we are alive and remain, I also pray Jesus will be made manifest in us to the greatest extent possible in these mortal bodies, that God will continue to do a good work in us and through us and for us, that he will give us the provision to continue, even abundantly so, and that he will restore us, even more than restore us from the damage we've experienced in this world. Even so, we realize that whatever good things we have here are temporary. They serve a purpose for a time, and they will pass away. Our real desire is to be where Jesus is. Dear Jesus, come quickly. Amen.